This playthrough is rated E for everyone. And once again, we return to Sky Gunner. Greetings and salutations, viewers of all right here with, well, I think it's going to be the final episode of Sky Gunner. We've done every single character. I showed what happens, if, how to get SS rank for the most part with Fong. Everyone won first place. We unlocked all the gunners. However, there's one last story to tell. As we play the game, we play the final uh, main story character we can play as. Um, oops, press the wrong button. But anyway, we fight as Raval himself. Yeah, he is very, he is difficult mode, mainly because he is basically a paper, paper plane for the most part. Um, his mission is very short. He gets three side objectives. They're really quick to do. Uh, basically, Raval is very similar to CL. The only difference is he doesn't have the cross uh, missiles. He has the bat missiles, which are not quite the same. They're basically like, like pinpoint damage um they kind of do something similar to dog missiles, but they don't actually slow you down. They just uh, wrap around you and dam damage you. So but anyway, um, now it's time to find out like what Raval has been doing and what's this whole thing surrounding the internal engine. And was he working with Vaunter or was he doing his own thing? Yes, this is he. So what do you have lined up for me? Yes, I'm familiar with its design. And you want it removed from the engine? Ah, Vonder. I see. We let him do the dirty work, and then... I'll be in touch. Are you going out, sir? Yes, I'm off to Reeve. Rather troublesome, isn't he? <laughs> At least he keeps me busy. Prepare my phantom. Right away, sir. to you. What's the matter? Fight me! If he won't listen to reason, then he leaves me no choice. Okay, yep, yeah, we fight against, uh, we basically play the same missions, except we play as Reeve this time, or Reval, so now we need to beat, uh, um, um, CL. Uh, he's a little bit more dangerous than Reval is when we fight him. Um, we got five minutes to finish him off, and you get a uh, nice, decent amount of points if you do. He's, he actually maneuvers more around than a Raval does when we fight him. So one way to fight him is to hit him with dog missiles, which will slow him down for a hot minute. Now, another annoying thing about fighting against CL is he, his, uh, he works on the game mechanics of the game. So what that means is that 
Yeah, he doesn't immediately die. We have to wait for him to fall into the ocean. And guess what? Just like you as the player, you get chances to button press your way to victory. Well, it's the same thing with this. He can button press his way to uh, to get out of that nose dive. So we have to hit him multiple times. So it's a uh, that's where the challenge comes in. Is you have to knock him out like usually it's three times. Is usually where you have to knock him out. Luckily, the targeting system kind of keeps you focused for the most part, so you can kind of uh, charge after him and, and hit him. But unfortunately, sometimes he'll get out of the dog missiles a bit fast. And you also be careful if you get too close to him, he'll uh, do that slowdown thing where he uh, activates his uh, heavy cannon or whatever. Um, and he also heals just like Raval does. So that's another thing we have to let me back up a bit so I can put a little bit of room into him so I can hit with dog missiles when usually it takes three goes to uh, knock him out, yeah. Although usually you don't want to hit him immediately with the dog missiles uh, because sometimes he'll uh, break break from it too easily, so. And yeah, sometimes he'll just break out of the dog missiles no matter, but sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll get a few uh, missiles on him. Him that time. I could use the bat missiles, but they're not they're not damaging enough. I prefer the dog missiles because they tend to um, hit him down long enough. But that really depends. Yeah, when I play tested this, I was able to get him within a couple of minutes, but uh, yeah, because of the whole. Oh, whoops, I'm out of those, so maybe I will have to use bat missiles then. Oh, nice. They were able to actually concentrate damage on him. Sometimes they won't do the... What happens is they surround him and hit him and then uh, do a nice little chunk of damage. There we go. That should be it. A lot of times I can't get it to do the piercing damage I do, so I like using the dog missiles instead. That should be the final time, unless he gets out one more time. You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> this was fun. Gotta reprieve. But you haven't heard the last of Rival. Uh, yeah. Hmm, a worthy opponent. He may deserve more of my attention. All right, that's it for that section. And no, we're n we're not gonna call it an episode here. That's way too short. And Rival's missions take like a couple minutes to do at most, you know. Um, so we'll just gonna keep going. But yeah, you get a, a decent amount of points for defeating CL. I forgot what the max you can get from doing it is, but. Uh, Obviously, I lost some money from using up all my items, but that's fine. But we still beat him, so we get the we get the reward for it. So, all right, let's head on to the next objective or next scene. The police have all departed. What will you do now, Bonto? You fool, why didn't you use the engine sooner? No matter. I'll give him a little more time. <laughs> Raval, why now? Ziel, why don't you keep me company for a while? All right, round two against uh, CL again. So this one, we only get three minutes to handle him. So um, we may or may not get him within that time. We'll see what happens. If not, I might have to reset. Um, yeah, because CL will run around all around the map. So I have to be careful about running into uh, cannons and stuff like that. So, so I'm trying to slow him down so I can actually hit him. There we go, that's one. That one was a little bit faster, but you have to you have to kind of almost be on the ball when it comes to um, CL during this fight, just because three minutes is, doesn't seem to be enough time. It seems like so. Yeah, go back, got out of the thing. Yeah, nope, don't want to lock. Him. You have to ah, yeah. See, sometimes he'll move into like really weird positions, and you have to chase him down. So that makes him fighting on this map a little bit more obnoxious, just because of that. So. At least we get to hear the Revol theme every every hot minute, so. 
Alright, we got him there. Nice, we were able to get all four of them to hit and smack them at the same time, so. Alright, got one more to go. Or at least we should usually take three three shots to uh, or three knockdowns to finish them off, so. That's why this is a little bit more difficult than C uh, CL. CL only has to do it the one time. There we go. Ha! Ah, better luck with the bat missiles. When I play tested this, I wasn't doing I wasn't doing so hot with the bat missiles, so that should be the final time. There we go. There's something wrong, CL. You're not yourself today. <laughs> I guess it will have to suffice. I've had my fun. Now run along like a good little gunner and take care of Bonto. What does this new chip want with me? Oh well, I better get back to business. Thanks to them, I barely had to lift a finger. Hmm? It's hardly been scratched. <laughs> Interesting. I'll destroy it completely. All right, time for the final mission. And we actually have to destroy the, uh, the machine soldier this time. This guy is tough because of just everything he does uh, and, you know, how it attacks um, Ravel and the fact that Ravel is not a very durable plane. So this makes this fight a little bit tougher, especially with everything the machine soldier can do. First, he can summon like um, these uh, um, harpoons or or lances or whatever you want to call at them, um, and they can, uh, if any of them hit, like most or most of them hit a little. Oopsie! He almost knocked out uh, Raval. Then we've got these. Uh, oh, oops! Man, I got not, I got hit. Um, he also summons these like little mini cannon things out of them, and they'll uh, kind of go after you. You can sometimes get around them. You have to kind of learn to dodge around. Whoops. Be careful there. Okay. He'll summon more of them after, like, so many seconds. The previous cans he uh, summoned will, uh... Oops. Yeah, I gotta... Kind of have to, have to be careful about how close I get and, and uh... Oh, check out the hard things again. Ow! Dang it, yeah. I, I hate those things because they're they're hard to they're hard to dodge, especially if you run like right into them. Oh, oops. oh, that's that's bad. I actually was ran out of propulsion, so it means I couldn't uh, dodge out of the way. Oh, nope. Better run backwards. Yeah, I should have uh, been paying attention to my uh, uh, how much propulsion I had and everything. So I used up all, uh, those powers while being. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this fight just because of just how how paper thin Revol is as a as a plane. Like he, it does not take much for him to get like smacked around by these things, by this guy. Oh. Ah. Yeah, this is one of those. I'm just gonna get hit multiple times. There's like almost not much I can do to stop that. Uh, I'm not very good with Revol, to tell you the truth. Uh, get some bat missiles in so we can get some extra damage. Yeah, unfortunately the bat missiles don't work as well on this guy as you can tell. Um, sometimes I can get them to uh, hit, but it doesn't always go through, if that makes sense. Oh, oh gosh. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get hit quite a few times by, uh, by this guy, because this guy is just way too challenging. Even with how many times I've played the game, you think I would have already... See? I had to mash this thing, but yeah, uh, like I said, uh, I wish I was better at this. Oh yeah, you can also summon dog missiles. I probably forgot you could do that too. I mean, you can get a lot of damage if I do his heavy cannon. I just have to be very, very specific about when I use it because otherwise, obviously it, it, it sits me like right in front of him. Yeah, see? And if I use it, then I, it's, it's not best not to use it while those uh, while those ones are or those mini cannons are being summoned, because otherwise you stall in place while you shoot it, which means you're more in range to, for them to smack you. You know what I mean? 
And of course, he's he's attacking you too, so there's that. So let me see if I can get up. Oof. Nope. Yeah, see, it did a decent amount of damage, but uh, you better not auto hit me as soon as I like get out of the, the tailspin. That happens sometimes. Like I, I've I've gotten out of like the tailspin, and then I immediately get hit by like the the harpoons or whatever, and I'm like, no, that's so unfair. This is probably the one time you're gonna see me like get knocked down like so many times next to like maybe CL's run. I got knocked down quite a few times during that run as well. Uh, I think we might be able to get one more. If I do oh, the slowdown, I might be able to hit him, but I have to. I probably should have tried doing the heavy cannon on him, because that probably would have been enough to finish him off. This might be it. There we go. Oh, God, too easy. I was expecting to enjoy this more, but oh well. I'll just retrieve the part and be on my way. And that's it for Revolve Storyline. Yeah, we uh, defeat CL multiple times, uh, get the Eternal Engine part, and that's it. So let's watch the ending of the game and then our ending of Revolve's little story and just find out like a little bit more and then what could have been. So yeah, we lost a lot of money to get knocked down. So, but overall, we went 11 million points. Uh, and we got an S rank for Revolve. Even with not being knocked down as many times as I did, I still got an S rank. So, um, yeah, as it shows there, you can get up to 17 million with the developer um, record there. So, way to show off. I think to get double S with uh, with uh, him, I think you have to get I think you have to get like 15 million or something like that. But it is possible. I'm just not very good with Revolve, just because, like I said, he's like tissue paper. <laughs> Welcome home, sir. Thanks. You appear to be in a good mood today. I thought it would be just an ordinary job, but I actually had some fun. Excellent, sir. It's me. I've obtained the part that you requested. Yes, it's without a scratch and working perfectly. Yes, all right. Talk to you later. The Gunner of Reeve. I hope our paths cross again. Yeah, that never happens because they never made a sequel to this game. Oh, well. But that's it for Revol uh, Reeve, uh, Revolve story. Yeah, it's pretty much just him working behind the scenes. Like a lot of game series that have like multiple series, they'll have like that one anti-hero or one... Um, one villain who's like, oh, I'm the one who manipulated things for the sequel, you know, and then now there's a new challenge for the Gunners because whoever he gave that part to would probably make more inventions and maybe Vontra would have made a reappearance in the game as like a, a villain who's trying, like a Yo know, Robotnik or Dr. Wily where he's like trying to get win, but there's clearly a better villain than him. You know, you can kind of see all the parts in place, but unfortunately this game didn't do well. At least as far as I'm aware of, it didn't super sell crazy, so they never got the money or funds to do a sequel to the game. Uh, kind of makes me wonder what the what the story would have been in the sequel. Like I said, I probably hit all the beats, but you still want to know what what would have been the big the big reveal, you know? Because what was the part in the internal engine? What was it going to be used for? Obviously, it was a power source or a material of some sort that was very durable and. You know, the Eternal Engine created the machine, machine soldier, which you know how dangerous that thing was. And it took multiple gunners to take him out, and then obviously Reval does it all by himself. Um, and that's pretty much it for this game. I really like this. I mean, once again, I do like this game. I just wish, well, I mean, one, uh, I wish they'd made a sequel to it. I wish it was a little bit longer. This game is, you can easily beat in three to five hours. But I think when it came out, like I mentioned before, I don't think it was that expensive. I think it was like 30 or $40, so worth the uh, like cost wise it wasn't wasn't that drop in the bucket for how long it was i just wish we'd gotten a sequel to this because i like games I'm, I'm a big fan of the ps2 era of gaming mainly because there were so many niche games that popped out like i said i call them like b titles or or a titles which they're not triple a because triple a means that they've had this big budget i've talked about this before like in my mars warlock games where it's one of those b slash 
A titles where it's like they try to be AAA, but they don't quite have the funding or whatever. But anyway, uh, PS2 was really big about B or niche games. There were so many games like that. And I, there were so many games I loved playing during that era because it, <laughs> gaming had not quite gotten expensive to the point where manufacturing it, you could still do games like that and possibly do just make just enough money to cover your cost and maybe a little bit extra. And you would have the, like those rare games like, you know, the, like the Fall Fantasies or maybe the Call of Duties that would do a little bit better, but it was just enough. Unfortunately, you either have to be indie and have barely enough budget, or you have to have all the money in the world to make games. You can't do like these middle titles anymore. There's still there's still companies that do it, but it's not as a um, there's only a handful of them these days. Like Spiders is one of them, and a couple others. But uh, oh well, that's an era most people won't know about. But anyway, yeah, that's it for it. And uh, all right, now we on story mode. Now we can choose any scene we want to play as in the game. So now we, if you're trying to master like the game and but you don't want to go through all the story just to get to one scene to try and master it over and over again to try to get a better score we can now do um yep the game has told us we've 100 percent it so for the most part um but yeah now in story mode we can choose a scene selection if you want to choose someone and then change what you want to do um also we have a lot of time attacks survival score mode now let's look at all my scores over the course of the game. Let's see, prize money, uh, FOM is the most prize money I've gotten in the game. FOM, I've also downloaded, the, uh, defeated the most, because that was the last one major playthrough I went through, so I try to make sure as most as I can to uh, um, get the most uh, score out of it so I can unlock double S rank. Um, yeah, chains, how many chains I got, uh, hits and all that other stuff. Then the rankings, it shows you like my best scores over the course of the game. Um, for some reason I thought I got a lower rank with uh, oh no I got a lower rank with Fom I think didn't I get a B with her but then I replayed it and got a uh, SS rank but yeah look at the scores there for uh, CL 36 million if you want to do which it is possible I've seen a, uh, I've seen well I haven't seen the video but I read some guides uh, after I beat this most of the story I went through some score guides just to see like what people what they did and I think some guy was able to get like 50 million or more on most of these guys um, yeah, look at look at a, uh, yeah, like uh, Fom is thirty four million, uh, Copan forty seven million, and then obviously um, uh, Reval is seventeen million. But it is possible. You just have to get get the multiplier. You have to know when to hit certain areas, hit to get certain chains to during the multiplier to get those tons of points. I know I'm aware of them. I'm just really bad at activating them. But uh, but all you need to do is get a double S to. And beat uh, beat the game with everyone to 100% the game. The only other thing you could do is unlock all the event modes, which most of the event modes are unlocked by doing certain objectives through the missions here. Um, let's see, I'm trying to remember what the picture I'm missing is. I think it needs to be. Uh, yeah, there's Reval uh, defeating the uh, the soldier right there. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what picture that one is. It's usually you either have to do a certain objective or something in the mission. If you miss a prime objective, it doesn't unlock a picture. Uh, I think I think the one I'm, picture I'm missing here is uh, destroying all the cannons as a uh, coupon because I did I did miss that one when I did during the playthrough. So that's probably the picture I'm missing there. Uh, this one I'm not sure which one I'm missing. It might be it might be letting the snake get away uh, during coupon storyline maybe. Well, yeah, that or the soldier destroying the telescope and letting it get captured. That might be it. And then the, finally, there's the Vonter pictures. And what the Vonter pictures are, are you doing certain things throughout the game that requires you to fail. So one picture is CL, FOM, and Copan get knocked out. And then other, other ones are like, he wins during this objective. He wins during this objective. So what I'm going to do really quick off screen is I'm going to go purposely... Um, lose at certain parts of the story just to show off what happens if you don't do them so i'm going to cut to when i uh, actually i'll unlock some of the i'll do some of the the failure sequences so uh give me a second while i um while i do that so nice to meet you and then here's the scene selector so i can show that off really quick before we before we call it so um so one of the ones in scene one is uh, when uh, the tow like cables get hit onto the uh, museum part of the game. You uh, when you hit the museum, 
uh, when you, if you don't destroy the tow cables within a certain period of time, because there was a time limit on that, that causes one of the game overs. So I'm gonna, um, during that, I'm gonna fail as Fom, let her like crash, and then I'm gonna also show me losing on scene one. So let me set that up really quick. for letting uh letting him uh, defeat us uh and take capture the thing we get a little commemorative thing and we go to the continue screen and we fail so all right so that's picture number one um to get picture number two we have to do chapter two and um we have to let the cargo planes get destroyed like all 15 of them and i realized while recording this i realized it was easier to choose this copan because he's difficult mode because in difficult mode the ai like almost never helps you um, for the most part, so because if you choose this farm, the AI actively destroys targets for you almost instantly. So yeah, but anyway, uh, I will see you in chapter two when we uh, lose to the uh, uh, lose the cargo plane. So. Man, if I'm not more careful, the cargo plane's engine will be history. This doesn't look good. What should I do? That's right. Dog missiles won't hurt the engine. I'll show you perks, you boss. For basically doing nothing during chapter two, we get this. Like seriously, you have to try to you have to sit there and do nothing to get these planes to fall fall down because it took for I was just waiting forever for them to, to like fall under the 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 creatures or whatever. Like it took forever. <laughs> you, yeah, you basically don't have to try to fail this one. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, for letting them get the uh, the cargo planes, you get this one. So the next one is in chapter four where Artie is in this uh, train and he's going towards the fortress. To get that one, you have to basically do nothing to the pods and have the uh, bridge collapse under him. So I'll see you when uh, that happens. Whoa! Not a bad photo. And another case of basically not doing anything. Even if you miss a couple of them, he shouldn't get knocked in the river. Basically what happens is too many of them jump on his machine and slow him down. So that's what happens if you if it slows him down enough where the other missiles that actually destroy the bridge hit him while he's uh, past it. But if you only destroy like a handful of them, and even if they get on him, if he hit him with dog missiles, it shouldn't be a big problem. But yeah, it can happen. All right, so the next photo is in chapter five, the final one. And there's two different ones you can get there. One is if you're playing as FOM, you don't protect CL while he's trying to destroy the tower. And the other one is you can either play as CL or Capon, and they basically don't protect FOM while she's getting attacked by the Dorado. 
So, but we'll do the Fawn one first. So I'll see you back when um, Fawn fails to save uh, CL. Fom, could you like put a bit more emphasis on the fact that CL got shot down? Yeah, she's like, oh no. <laughs> That's the problem with PS2 early uh, voice acting is that I don't think they had very good voice directors or something like that to like kind of like emote, you know, a bit. Like maybe she would be a bit more like CL, you know, like, but she's like, oh no. <laughs> I don't know. It's just kind of funny. So, all right. So, uh, uh, another one you can actually get in Chapter 5 is when the machine, uh, the machine soldier is up and running. If you get shot down by him specifically, get you another um, uh, another picture. So, I'll do that one really quick and then do the uh, one where they have to protect Fom. So, I'll be back when I get that one. Alright, so I was able to get the uh, FOM get knocked out uh, one, which requires you to just get knocked out at any point during FOM's thing. So when I was trying to mess with the, the soldier, I got knocked out. So and the interesting thing, I, I never talked about this, but if you continue, usually what the game is, is that instead of continuing at the beginning of the map, it'll continue you after, after uh, like a mid-checkpoint, depending on what the objective is. It's usually right before a major objective appears, so it makes it easier to like finish the mission even if you don't get a good score. So, all right, anyway, let me get the uh, the one where it requires you to get knocked out by the, the soldier. So I'll be back in a second. No, not now. Not a bad photo. So for this one, so it, it's the second time you, so you have to beat the, to get this one, you basically, you're fighting the, the soldier at the end of chapter five it has to be during his second or third phase. So like, um, if you die during the phase where you have to weaken him to actually hit him, like where you're working with Copan and CL or FOM together, that one just gets you your regular crash. This one, you have to do it during the second one and you get the uh, the soldier's rampage one there. So, all right, so next photo I'm gonna get is um, uh, CL or Copan, either one, you can choose either one. But during uh, chapter five, FOM is attacked by the Dorado so uh you need to obviously destroy it before it defeats her in this case we're not going to so we're not going to destroy it so i'll see you then Although she actually did scream there, so I gotta give the voice actress credit for doing that to be a bit more exacerbated. Oh no, I'm gonna crash! Ah! <laughs> All right, so I'm only missing three pictures now. So basically, the two of them are for CL and Capan getting knocked down, which I'll show them, but they're kind of boring because it's basically just the same one as Fom, the regular one of Fom. It's just uh, Vonter there, but I'll show them. And the other one is Raval getting knocked out, but it has to be during the when he's fighting the the soldier as well. So I'll be back when I get those. Not a bad photo. All right, there's Capon getting knocked out. Yeah, you can see him in the, uh, just standing there, but it's, yeah, it's his plane or whatever. So, all right, also CL's next. So be back when I get to show that one off. At least the voice actors kind of try when they scream but uh yeah that's the elegant shot down so one more left and that's revolved during the his final encounter or with his encounter with the soldier so i'll be back when i get that one impossible not 
a bad photo. I think you could tell the vo guy who voices Raval has done more voice acting because at least he he was a little bit better at the voice acting. Him and Copan were, and uh, Vonter were pretty good voice actors in this for the most part. Because I think I'd heard them and stuff before this game and after. But uh, anyway, that's it for the photos. So now, now we've, well, for the most part, I've 100 percent everything in this game. So I've done everything with every character. I unlocked all the, all the bonus stuff. So let me show off the photos again. I think, I think the only things I'm missing are like random um, event things. Yeah, the like uh, having certain scenes occur or whatever, but um, they're not that big of a deal. All it is is just little uh, pictures of them doing whatever so yeah it's like minor um you don't get anything for unlocking all the event photos and i don't remember how to get them all so yeah there's cl capon fom reval capturing the marveu the, the knocking down all the cargo planes the armored car cl during the chapter five. i like how he just the little picture of him just looking at Vodger like you son of a <laughs> or something like that. i don't know just something funny about him just they're just staring at him like you jerk um but yeah, that's it for uh, Sky Gunner. I hope you all enjoyed my playthrough of this. Uh, I know it wasn't the most efficient. I really didn't get efficient until at like, the very end. And okay, so it took me about 10 hours to do this. But a lot of times I was leaving the system on while I was messing with stuff. Because the timer keeps running no matter if you're playing through missions and stuff like that. So technically, if you skip through a lot of the same scenes over and over again, yeah, like I said, you could beat this in like easily under five hours. But it's, it's one of those games you can easily go back to. And just play like time attack survival and just do the story if you want to try to max out the score i remember i really liked this game because i was a big fan of Star Fox, which i still am but i 100 percent that as a when I, as a young teenager and a game with this kind of did the whole because back then we didn't have that many games to play so you only had so many options or you only had so much money nowadays it's now there's only too many games to play but back then you you 100 percent everything when you got it nowadays you could just buy a game maybe just beat it and go on to the next thing because you know you have plenty of options so so i kind of miss that part about older games but that's just how it is me old man speaking all that so but anyway that's it for sky gunner hopefully for those who like this maybe you can get this through legitimate means but nowadays i doubt you can i don't even think it's on like the playstation store or anything like that i think you have to sail the high seas for this one if you want to get legitimately or find it through like ebay or some other services like that but if you can get a hold of it it's a it's a fun time and you know great graphics you know decent decent voice acting uh fun replayability and just a charming little game and i wish that we'd gotten more of it but i'm just gonna leave it out there so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next game